All right, this is episode one. I guess I'm calling it O'Neill Sim. So over the next 100 days, I'm going to build a very simple web game that's going to be a simulation of a space settlement. It's going to be based on this report, which was published, believe it or not, to 1977 by NASA, but also as, the, as a primary contributing author, Gerard K. O'Neill. Here's the document I'm talking about. So Space Settlements and Design Study. This is available anywhere online for free to download. Just search Space Settlements a Design Study. This document is the findings, the results of a 10-week program where all these experts got together and tried to build a space settlement using current technology that could be sustainable. I don't think there's been any study since this of quite that depth uh, proposing something that's realistic with modern technology about a space settlement. And I think it's super fucking cool. And I don't know why this document, this PDF or whatever, isn't more popular. The second bit of inspiration for this project is this browser game called Universal Paperclips. So what is this about? Every time I click the button, it makes a paperclip, right? And then I get some inventory from that paperclip. And that inventory sells, and I can set the price. It's just like a lemonade stand or something like that. You click it as fast as you can for a while, and then maybe you want to lower down the price so, so this number doesn't get too high, right? So your inventory doesn't get out of control. And... Um, you can use two hands if you want. I'm fucking savage. When I have enough money, I can go down and make some auto clippers. So this is automatically going to make one every second. Now I can afford two, so I'm making two clips a second. I like this game. I play this game actually too much. This game is based on the notion of like the universal paperclip maker. You could theoretically create a machine whose goal is to produce paper clips. And if that machine is smart enough, it will convert the entire universe into paper clips, devouring planets, converting every bit of raw material into paper clips. So in this game, you're like the AI, basically behind the universal paper clips machine. Right now you're a company. Right, and then you like gain the trust, the trust of the people, and then you become like an overlord of civilization, and then you start going out into space, and then you just start converting all the matter in the universe. And there's different stages to the game. You know, from time to time, for various reasons, you just have to click on shit. So it's called a clicker game. But the thing about it is, it's actually super compelling. You're just watching this one number. Look, I play, I've, I play Call of Duty, I play Fortnite, I play City Skylines, I play chess, I play a lot of different games. This is a thing. Guys, if you've made it this far, you've got to like this video and subscribe to my channel, okay? This is the first time that I'm doing this. This is a low-ass quality video. If you watch the whole thing, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, say hi to me. I want to get something online at the domain name O'NeillSim.com that is that you can do something with, that you can interact with. It's kind of fun as soon as possible, like ideally today. My programming background is basically zero. I've taken like many different disconnected online courses about programming over the years. So I did some Python courses for Udacity like seven years ago or something, never used it. I did quite a lot with R a year ago. Not with a goal in mind, just kind of uh, wanted to learn. But then recently, when I got this teaching job, um, teaching about blockchain, I have access to the entire academy. So I'm learning JavaScript, I'm learning about smart contracts. I just wanna be a dangerous programmer. So that's a huge motivation for this. Um, but I have got a lot to learn, never made a game, Never done like any sizable project with JavaScript. Never worked on a software development team before. Um, never, I've built websites using like Shopify, but never from scratch. 
So uh, that's what I've got ahead of me. Hey guys, let me fill you in on how it's going so far. Just have a little break, a little joint. Mm. Somehow this does help me. Maybe it just helps me keep going. Doesn't help my thinking, but anyway. Um, so what I've got is just this real simple HTML website with some JavaScript in it, which is a, a framework. Um, this is not functioning yet. This is just displaying right. I've still got to build in the functionality, but basically um, there is something called state. And uh, the state has these different variables. And um, where is it? All right, so here it is the first time. So let's state, so I got a timer. This will keep track of when it is, number of settlers, number of plants, and then features of the atmosphere. And um, you're going to be able to modify the number of settlers and plants by adding more settlers and plants. And this timer is going to increase every second. And every time it increases, it'll update the state. And depending on um, how many settlers and plants there are, it'll update the state of oxygen and CO2 in the atmosphere. Give me another hour or so, a couple hours maybe, and uh, hopefully I'll get that working. Okay, guys, that brings me to the end of today. I was supposed to spend about four hours on this and so far it's been seven. I haven't gotten it online yet and I'm still working on getting the exact kind of calculations for um, how the oxygen and CO2 transfer. I really want to get this right so that because when you build these things right back to the space settlement thing the atmosphere is a huge expense and you've got to literally bring atmosphere from earth up to this thing. So you wouldn't want to have a huge atmosphere to begin with. You wouldn't be able to. So you have to start with a smaller one and then scale your atmosphere with your population. So that's an ability I want to build in right from the start. So I'm going to make sure that we get it right with the volume of um, the volume of each gas, oxygen, CO2, and nitrogen um, per cubic meter, you know, per volume of space that's enclosed, and then uh, the correct volume for that group. So when we get those two, we'll plug them in, and um, hopefully tomorrow I'll get this thing online. So that'll be the goal for tomorrow, is to get this one, this version online, so you guys can check it out, um, and uh, have it be working properly with the atmosphere. If you watch the whole thing, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, say hi to me. I'll see you tomorrow.